Hi and welcome. I'm so excited that you are considering a long sleeve vintage ivory wedding gown. So I got this one out and I like to do a video so you can have a long look at condition. Especially important with vintage gowns. And this will definitely not be what everyone else is wearing. By the way, when I started to look at this and got it set up, I was reminded of Pippa at the royal wedding in that gorgeous silhouette from the back. This is a size 14. The mannequin fits a size 14 bridal. And be sure to check because sizes always run small. And uh, check those measurements. And I'm so excited that you're considering long sleeves as well. Mm -hmm. The past few years, it seems Everyone gets the same dress, sleeveless, strapless, stark white, and now ivories have come back and lace has come back. So I really hope you like it. Let's take a minute to take a look. This has been dry cleaned, which can loosen beads and threads. If you catch any threads or see anything loose, don't pull, snip. The nice thing about lace is when everything is that perfectly smooth satin, every speck, every flaw, every bump shows. But lace is very forgiving. I really like the train on this gown. You can see the lace edge. And I want to show it to you again uh, without the lining so you can get another look at the beauty of the edge. And you can even consider pinning up the lining, depending on how tall you are and pretending, depending on the look. I've got it next to a Martha Stewart ivory uh, pa paper bouquet, just as an example so you can compare the color. Today's ivory is subtle. It's not that yellowy, your grandmother's ivory, so to speak got this scalloped edge, covered buttons, over the zipper, you can see here, for example, a little thread, I'll try to snip that and tack that in. If you just tuck it in, I have a way of just taking a needle and tucking it back under. It's quite um, a little bit heavier than you might imagine because of the beads. I was surprised when I picked it up. I saw somebody posted how much she wanted a lace ivory vintage gown, and I thought, oh, I have one. And for a second, I was surprised how heavy it was. I'll turn it around. Let me see if I can get up a little closer so you can see. There's some flowers. A little bit of sparkle in the clear beads. You can see some are clear. They give you the sparkle and then just the uh, opaque. All those buttons, very elegant, but nowadays they just use a hidden zipper. All right, I'm going to stop at the train give you a glance and then I'm going to show it to you again when I pull the lining away. Okay, so I just pulled the lining back a little bit. Look at how pretty that is. Rows of roses. So it is attached right there. It gives you a better view because the camera doesn't always pick up the design. Isn't that neat? So I'll turn it around so you can have a look at the front. Okay, here's the front of this vintage ivory lace gown. 
go in for a closer look. I want to show you my favorite part, which is this beautiful bottom part of the dress. Very pretty. Be sure to check the measurements for the length as well. A little bit big on this mannequin. So it's a little loose on top. I'm going to move the sleeve so you can see that. Very pretty. A nice seam. So it's a little more close to your silhouette without being too skin tight. And the sleeves have fully lined with the buttons and the loops. The whole dress is beautifully lined. catch myself in the mirror too much. I like if you're thinking of not doing a veil, I like a flower. Feathers are very popular or something beachy, seashells, but a nice big ivory flower or a simple ivory veil. Maybe with a lace edge would be nice. So, as always, ask any questions, send me any messages. If there's anything uh, I can help you with otherwise, let me know. And don't forget to measure. It's really, really important. And have a wonderful wedding. Thanks for watching.